In this time, my time with you, Jesus, I learned so many lessons and you fill me with your light. In this time, my time with you, Jesus, I learned so many lessons and you fill me with your light. My name is Christine. My time with Jesus. The intercession of our mother in heaven. Hi everyone. I'm so glad you came by because I was starting to feel super bored and lonely. Come in, come in. You know, Eva's really sick. She has laryngitis. She has to stay in bed so she can't go to school. Enrique and Joseph should be here any minute. Hello. Hi, guys. What's wrong? You look sad. You want to know what's wrong? Everything's a total disaster. Yeah, and a tragedy. <gasps> a tragedy? <gasps> Why? Because tomorrow's Saturday. What's that got to do with anything? Haven't you heard? Don't you... Don't you read the newspapers? As three times prize winner Tony Lamoni said, if you want to stay up to date, you have to... Okay, okay, we know what Tony Lamoni said. Tomorrow night, there's going to be a meteor shower. Astronomers are saying that it's going to be the biggest meteor shower in years and years. Hmm, and we don't even have a telescope. Hang on, didn't you used to have one? You mean the one that broke? Yeah, I have it. But like I said, it's broken. Then fix it. The only person who knows how to fix it is my dad, but he's away and won't be back until Sunday. So goodbye meteor shower. It's unbelievable. We were planning to camp out in our yard on Saturday night, but now... Oh, come on. All you need is for Joseph's dad to come back a day early. You're joking, right? He's away on business. Why don't you talk with your mom? Maybe she can persuade him. Yeah, but it won't be easy. You know? We Catholics have a mother in heaven, and she's a great intercessor. Do you mean the Blessed Virgin Mary? Exactly. Whenever we need something, we can ask for her help. The Virgin Mary will intercede for us before her son Jesus. Right, because she's our mother too. Okay, the only person who could convince my dad to come back a day early is my mom, so I'll ask her. I think that's a great idea. You know, the Virgin Mary convinced Jesus to perform his first miracle even though he wasn't planning this. Seriously? She convinced him. How did she do it? Do you want to see? Then let's use our imaginations to travel back to the time of Jesus. And you guys at home can come along too. We just open up the gospel, close our eyes, and... If you close your eyes and give me a hand, we will travel all together to a faraway land. Jesus, our way, our truth, and our life, all in the Holy Gospels, which fill us with His light. Bible Stories Over here, we're in the kitchen. We're in a village called Kana. 
where they're celebrating a wedding and these women are preparing food so there's plenty for all the guests. Yes, did you see Jesus? He's eating with the guests. And here's the Virgin Mary helping in the kitchen to make sure everything turns out perfectly. Hey, by the way, where's Tessio? I don't know, maybe he went to the wrong house. They all look so alike. I think I heard him. Yeah, I think that squawk came from this jar. Tassio not want to get fried like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Tassio, if we hadn't found you, right now you'd be on a serving tray with a carrot in your beak. It's all right, you'll be safe with us. Besides, I don't think Parrot is on the menu. Look, the Virgin Mary is always thinking of others. And she's noticed that there's no more wine left. It's the worst possible thing that could happen. Mary, what is it? But, but, this is a disaster. What happened? They've run out of wine. This is terrible. They haven't even started the second course. When the guests find out it's gonna be awful. The poor couple, running out of wine on their wedding day? Instead of being the happiest day of their lives, it's gonna be the saddest. Yes. Everybody will remember this banquet, and they will be so ashamed. Did you hear that? The worst thing that can happen at a wedding party is for the wine to run out. This is really bad. What are they going to do? Wait and see. The Virgin Mary has gone to speak with Jesus. They have no wine. Woman, why turn to me? My hour has not yet come. Did the Virgin Mary ask Jesus to perform a miracle? Yes, although Jesus wasn't planning to perform one just yet. And did Jesus do as she asked? Yes, he did. Watch. Do whatever he tells you. Fill the jars with water. Draw some out now and take it to the steward. This is wonderful. It's the best wine I've ever tasted in my life. People generally serve the best wine first and keep the cheaper till the guests have had plenty to drink. But you've kept the best wine till now. Great, I'm happy for the couple. Yes, and it was all thanks to the intercession of the Virgin Mary. Because of this miracle, Jesus' disciples began to believe in him. They were so amazed that Jesus had turned water into wine. The Virgin Mary is the best mother we could have. She is always aware of everything that we need, just as she was at this wedding. Jesus gave us the Blessed Virgin Mary to be our mother. When did he do that? At the foot of the cross. Do you remember? Woman, this is your son. This is your mother. From that moment, the Virgin Mary became the mother of all. Wow, it's amazing to have our mother in heaven as an intercessor. Come on, let's get back to the treehouse, guys. That was awesome. Oh yeah, we just saw Jesus' first miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Tassio, why are you trying to be Tarzan? He's Tarzan of the Apes. Of the apes, not of the parrots. Poor Tassio. He's a little parrot and he wants to play. You know what? I'm gonna talk to my mom and see if she can convince my dad. Right. Maybe she can ask him to come back Saturday to fix the telescope. Can you imagine? That would be awesome. I believe, Jesus, that you are in the tabernacle very close to me. Every Catholic Church Thank you, good Jesus For remaining with us Living with us forever Right by our side We pray to our Lord in the Tabernacle Hi everyone! 
We're here in the church to pray for a little while before Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament, present here in the tabernacle. Sister Lucia will help us. Are you ready? Yes? Well then, everybody, let's start our prayer by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. 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 Sister Lucia? What is it, Christine? Can we pray for Eva to get better? She's in bed with laryngitis. Great idea. You know, prayer is very important. God hopes that we will ask him for things so he can give them to us. Right, just like the Blessed Virgin Mary. She asked Jesus to do his first miracle. Very good, Joseph. Our Mother in Heaven is our best intercessor. We can ask God for things through her. In that case, if we ask the Virgin Mary for something, does she ask God? That's right. And does God listen to her? Of course he does. She's his mother. <laughs> Would you like to learn a very beautiful prayer we can use to ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to help us? Okay. Listen, we put our hands together like this and say, Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. That's beautiful. We're saying that the Virgin Mary always listens to us and helps us. That's right, Christine. We're also asking her to remember that no one who has turned to her has ever been left unaided. What does left unaided mean? It means not receiving the help they needed. So then, the Virgin Mary always listens to us? Yes, she's our mother in heaven. A mother always listens to her children and helps them. Oh, I see. Hey, I have to talk with my mom and see if she can get my dad to come back a day early. Right, I'm sure your mom can persuade him. Okay, everyone, let's continue praying the Memorare. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. Sister Lucia, I don't think I understand this part of the prayer. We're asking the Virgin Mary to listen to us, even though sometimes we do the wrong thing. You mean our sins? That's right. We know we're not worthy to have her as a mother. She's a gift from God, isn't she? Exactly. We're asking the Virgin Mary to listen to our prayers, despite our sins. And will she do that? Will she listen to us, even if we don't deserve it? Of course. A mother always listens and forgives. Let's continue. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. 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 That was very good, everybody. You prayed very well. And that goes for everyone at home, too. With that prayer, we asked the Virgin Mary to ask Jesus to help Eva get well again, didn't we? That's right. Mother in Heaven, with this prayer, we're asking you to help our friend Eva. You know, she's having a really bad time because she has laryngitis. Please take care of her and ask Jesus to help her get well again. Amen. Mother, the church has always taught us the road to heaven, cause this is our goal. All of the saints, all of our traditions are a great treasure that our mother, our mother, our church gives to us. Catholic faith. Hi everyone! We're in the year 1251. We used our imaginations to travel here to talk to St. Simon Stock. He's a Carmelite monk. Hello children! It's wonderful that you can travel with your imagination. St. Simon is with us and he's going to tell us about the scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, also known as the Brown Scapular. Wait a second, wait a second. Do you mean we're in the Middle Ages? Yes. Excellent. This is the age of knights in armor. I love it. By the way, where's Tassio? I don't know. Come with me. <laughs> Tassio wanted to be knight in armor. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Tassio, why would you dress up in such a heavy suit of armor? 
Tessio, don't you realize that the arm significantly increases your body mass? What are you talking about? Your wings are not capable of generating the force and acceleration required to lift that mass. Joseph, don't start with all your physics formulas. My head starts to spin. Okay, I'll put on my mountain rescue costume and get him down from there. Well, everyone, St. Simon Stock was going to tell us about the brown scapular. Very well. When I was named Prior General of the Carmelite Order, I entrusted myself to Our Lady's protection and prayed for strength and wisdom. And then the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to me and gave me the scapula. This will be a privilege for you and for all Carmelites. He who dies using this scapular will not suffer eternal fire. You see, this is a scapular of cloth. On the one side, there's an image of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and on the other side, an image of Mount Carmel. Wow! I bet it has superpowers. Can you imagine? Check it out. Now the Chewing Gum Man has the superpowers of the scapular. Evil will finally be defeated. Hey, wake up! <laughs> the scapular doesn't give you superpowers. It doesn't? You see, the scapular is a sacramental, which means that it helps us receive the grace of God in the sacraments. It's not magic? Of course not. It's a symbol of our love for our Mother Mary in heaven and of our trust in her. I see. So it's good to wear it always. Well, wearing the scapular is a sign of love and trust in our Mother in heaven. It means we always want to do the will of God, just like the Virgin Mary did. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to thy word. And it's also a sign of our confidence in her intercession before Jesus. Do whatever he tells you. I understand. The scapular helps remind us that we want to be like our mother in heaven. In other words, that we always want to do the will of God. And it's also the sign of our trust in her. Exactly. And is it only the Carmelites who can wear the scapular? No. You see, over time, the Church extended this devotion to all Catholics. To all of us? That's right. The Virgin Mary's promise applies to all men and women. The Carmelite Order has spread the scapular devotion all over the world. There have been some great Carmelite saints, haven't there? Yes. For example, Saint Teresa of Jesus, Saint John of the Cross, Saint Teresa of Lisieux, and Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross also known as Edith Stein. Those are some of the great Carmelite saints. But you see, because lay people can't wear a habit, the scapula serves as a miniature habit. And are there other scapulars that are not Carmelite? There are. The most famous is the Carmelite one, but you can wear any of them. Do you already have a scapular? If you don't, you could ask your mom and dad for one. Then ask your priest to bless it for you. Right. Maybe they could give you one for your birthday. We all have one of our own, see? You can kiss your scapular every night before you go to sleep. And then tell the Virgin Mary that we're happy that she's our mother in heaven and that we love her very much. At the end of this program, let's take a moment to reflect on what we learned today and how to change our lives through your catholic church dear jesus we receive your peace and grace walking with our mother mary until we see you face to face let's review what we've learned What's up, guys? You look sad. What's up is that today is Saturday and my dad isn't here. Right, and you won't be able to watch the meteor shower, will you? My telescope is still broken. Very broken. But, uh, didn't you speak with your mom? Yes, she told me she'd ask my dad, but I know he won't be able to come back today. If your dad can't come back, it's goodbye to our super plan. Right. Come on, Joseph. Trust your mom. She'll make it work. I don't know. Hang in there, guys. I'm going to see Eva and bring her the homework from school. Okay, see ya. Hey, 
Hey, check it out. A taxi. You think I'm interested in taxis right now? Hey, it's your dad. Oh, wow. It's dad. Hi there, boys. But, but aren't you supposed to be at a business meeting? I am, but Mom called me and told me you needed to get the telescope fixed today. Yeah, but what about the meeting? Don't worry about that. I arranged things so I could finish last night. So come on, where's this broken telescope? This is great. We're going to be able to watch the meteor shower. You see, I told you your mom could do it. Yes, just like the Virgin Mary when she asked her son Jesus to perform his first miracle. That's what moms are for. This is wonderful, Eva. I'm so glad you're feeling so much better. Yes, I had a laryngitis and I was so bored laying in bed. We prayed for you to get better. Thank you very much. Sister Lucia taught us the Memorari Prayer, which you can pray to ask for the intercession of the Virgin Mary. Right, because she's our mother in heaven. That's great. So what else did you learn today? Well, we've learned three things. The first is that the Blessed Virgin Mary is our great intercessor in heaven. Yeah. She was able to get Jesus to do many things, like she persuaded him to perform his first miracle, even though he wasn't planning to. Do whatever he tells you. Fill the jars with water. Draw some out now and take it to the steward. This is wonderful, the best wine I've ever tasted in my life. Very good. And what was the second thing you learned? Me, me, me! <laughs> okay, you tell us. We learned a new prayer. It's called the Memorari. Well, that's splendid. A truly beautiful prayer. Do you remember how to pray it? You do? Let's see. All you have to do is read the words that appear on the screen. Remember, remember almost gracious Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary. That never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Perfect. You prayed it very well. And then we learned all about the brown scapular. Yeah, St. Simon Stock told us what the brown scapular is and what it's for. Right. It's a sacramental that reminds us of two things. The first is that we must always do the will of God, just like Mary did. And the second is to trust in her intercession. Well, I think that's fantastic. You've learned a lot, and it's all very useful. Mother in heaven, Thank you for being our best intercessor with your son, Jesus. Help me always to remember that you are with me every day of my life. Amen. Hey, do you think the Virgin Mary can see us from heaven? Yes, of course. She always cares for us because we are her children. Okay, shall we pray a Hail Mary then? Good idea. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. I thank you, Lord. Dear Jesus, for the many blessings I receive from you. Every day I want to make you very happy in my every thought and in everything I do. You once were a child, Lord, just like me. As I grow, you are. Show. 